Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to see Jeremiah. Uh, obviously a long-standing relationship uh, with him, but more importantly, any player you want to see and make sure they're okay. And saw Jeremiah, came to meetings the next day, um, which I think was uh, a lift for the team. What's up, boys? What's up, what's up, baby? What's up, Jerry? I'm great. I just want to say what's up, man. What's up? You know, we got together, uh, personnel staff, uh, Brendan Taman, Jeremy, myself, with Coach La Police, and just talked about what our situation is and what we can do. And uh, Nick Arbuckle's name came up, along with a couple other quarterbacks. Chris Strebler was free at the time. We know Caleb's gonna play and we wanna give him the opportunity to play, but what happens if Caleb goes down? What's next? And everyone sort of uh, knew that we had to bring someone in with some experience. Nick Arbuckle is now a member of the Ottawa Red Blacks. The Ottawa Red Blacks have traded their fourth round pick in next year's draft. If it's gonna come into a much can, better team. It can come, yes, 100%. Much better, much better situation for him to come in. You need to see what a guy does when the lights are on. And unfortunately, when the lights have been on so far this year for Caleb Evans, we haven't seen much progress yet. doesn't mean we won't. I didn't really feel any type of way. Um, and that's probably why we have a good relationship now, you know, because um, I feel like if I felt the type of way, it wouldn't be as good as it is now. So we understand the business of it, you know, and understand you can't control what other guys, or, you know, things happen or people go. So you just control what you can control. Hey, 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 hey! Oh. When we lose a soldier, you be there for him. You be there for him emotionally and especially on that field. You know, this man, everything he gave wasn't for nothing, you feel me? Let's go, man. Family on me, family on three. One, two, three. Hey. First off, I want to say that I would I would thank Hamilton's fans because I I wouldn't be there here today if it wasn't for Hamilton, you know, kind of taking a chance on me. But at the end of the day, whenever it was time for me to get a new contract, they didn't reach out. So if they don't think that I'm worth it, then I got to go show them. And so I just prepared like it was going to be a dog fight. And uh, you know, if they don't think I'm worth the money, then they'll play man to man, which they did. Caleb Evans takes over a trade, brings Nick Arbuckle down as well. Go! Why don't he? Watch out! Struggled in the score zone with Masoli. Can they make some magic here? Outside in, Ashlyn, touchdown, Red Black! Touchdown. touchdown. Let's go. Hell yeah. Good Let's go. Good job, oh. Hey, good work, Cole. Good job, oh. Good shit. Good work, Cole. Good work, Cole. Good job, baby. Good his first touchdown of the year, and it comes back in the hammer where he started his CFL career. Yeah, and then I went over to Coach O, and I was just like, I'm in the end zone so you're gonna have to stop me. And, uh, you know, I was just feeling myself at the time. I felt good. Just knowing that the guys are firing off on all cylinders. Like, we were stopping the run. We were getting passes batted down in the backfield. Like, we, we were getting to the quarterback. Like, what, <laughs> what else can a defense do? You know, we, we had turnovers. He will climb the pocket, looking downfield. Open receiver, it's caught. It's the newcomer in Hamilton, and it's popped out on the ground. Randall Evans has it, and again, the turnover. Fumble. Yeah, our ball. Jesus. Right hash. <laughs> Evans with pressure down around his legs. Got him, Hell yeah. got him. Good call, folks. Nice. Call, folks. away from it, but can't escape. And another sack early on in this game. I just know sacks are contagious. 
they're very contagious. Once you see one person get one, it's just like, oh, God, I have to. Once I get one, it's just like, it's like a sneeze. You, <laughs> one sneeze, you know another one's coming right after it, especially when, you, when you're sick. And I'll be sick out there. Evans deep drop this time. Wanted to take a shot down the field. The pressure wouldn't allow it. Can he escape? He won't. Oh, oh, now the ball is oh, out. Oh, 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 get him off. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, get on it. Get on it. Bubble. 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 Go for two. All right, we're down one point. Go for two. What oh, Eddie? What's that? Right. Oh, got got it. It. We got it. Touchdown. Touchdown. We got it. We got it. Two. Tell them, what are we in? Personnel. 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 Go for two. Evans in the gun. Pressure on. He's got man coverage all over the place. Where will he go? Floats it over the top. Oh, P.I. Oh, we'll look at it, we'll look at it, we'll look at it, we'll look at it, we'll look at it. Yeah, we're waiting on the replay. Hey, even if you don't look, I'm throwing it. Yeah, yeah, nah, they cut that shit off. Okay. I was trying to come on the knee. I know, I'm saying, I'm saying, even if you don't look, I'm throwing on his head. Okay, yeah. If he on you. Hey, it's gonna be this one right there. This is not live, this is live. I don't, I don't think so, guys. No, P.I. Yeah. Shot for all the marbles here for both of these teams. Side Adam O'Claire was injured, came out of the ball game. He's back in third and goal. Evans leans to his left on his back, but into the end zone. Touchdown, Tiger Cats. With 19 seconds remaining, Evans leads the comeback drive. I think Bob Dice involved in a conversation that I'm sure they had a little bit earlier with Lewis Ward of what do you need? Where do you need us yep. to get to? 52, 52 yards. He got this shit. This is a yeah. big ass. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. That's it. The kick doesn't have the depth. Just shy. It raised the uprights. And that is how Hamilton will get their first win of the season as Evans and Sean Thomas Erlington celebrate and the hands on the knees of the Ottawa Red Blacks say it all. It's a shame to have so much talent in a room and keep losing and then you really don't know why you're losing. It was just, yeah, it, it was mind blowing, man. Like we got guys in a room that's literally been the guy on another team and then he came here and he's still the same beast, the same character. But we're losing, and it's weird, man. Like we, when I say we play our butts off on defense, like we go out there, we don't care if it's third and one on the goal line, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna hit you in your mouth. But you do all that, and then after the game, you don't get the results you want. It hurts you. I'm not gonna lie, you're human at the end of the day. You understand? But we, we, it, it, we gotta, we gotta overcome that when we can. Hey, another game day. Another fucking practice. Another way to feed your family. Let's go. We're going to get it today by any means fucking necessary. Let's we'll go, man. We'll uh-huh. 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 Levels back in at Nickel and the veteran. And Guantino starts at free safety tonight with Justin Howard. Into the backfield, Patrick Levels. There it is! Reintroduces himself to the Yellow Pets fans after leaving in CFL free agency, Dwayne, and you know he's going to bring the energy. We saw this in the pregame warm up, even. Salt, 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 salt coming, salt, salt coming. What are you? What's up? This time, Marquette caught the ball. Touchdowns thus far 
this year for Winicky. He's just to the right of Harris. Moving through his progressions, now Harris rolls towards him, throws it into the back of the end zone. Mayella, he didn't get the score on his long completion, but he finishes the job here in the Alouettes. Storm back to take the lead in the second. Tailback bar, tailback ride, bird dog kill. On one, ready? Bird dog, bird dog, bird dog. Yes, sir, ten. Yeah, why not? Go! 180! One shot! Was he not down? Was that not incomplete? Was that not incomplete? Eyes are over here looking to see if I can find him and, and figure out which way to knife. And then yeah, just a, a, a nice clean shot at the ribs. Uh, it was a good hit. Balls dislodged. I definitely still don't think that I was had made a uh, quote unquote football move. It it sucks. Yo, how the fuck is that a catch? If that's not a catch, how was that a catch? <laughs> Harris will throw, isolated, one on one, throws it low and away, cut. Gino Lewis extends the Montreal lead. In the end, the Alouettes come out with a victory, 40 to 33, over the Ottawa Red Blacks as they fall to 0 and 6 on the season. I've never in my career been 0 and 6. Right? I don't think I've ever lost six games in a row. All right? This is a journey we have fucking been put on. Right? First thing, I do not want to hear one word about the referees. We understand that, men? Right? We understand. Yes, sir. Right? We didn't lose that game because the officials. We lost that game because we didn't make enough fucking plays. We didn't finish when we needed to. All right? Defense, we let them go 100 yards. Right? We're getting takeaways, but they're driving the whole length of the field, and the takeaway happens at the five-yard line. Right? We're not good enough to win the fucking game. And that's better be looking in the mirror at fucking everybody, myself included, what we can do better. All right? This should fucking sting. Right? And you're putting yourself in a hole for where you want to go. All right? We've got to improve. We've got to get better. Figure out who plays. It puts us in the best position to win fucking games, because I'm tired of it. Right? And I ain't fucking placing blame on anybody. Go starts with fucking me. All right? As I've always stood here, whether we win a game or lose a game, right? We walk in this room together, and we figure shit out together. And we walk out together. That's the only way this game fucking works. The only way championships work. I'm uh, out of town and, and I get a call from Jeremiah's agent, Fred, saying Jeremiah's being rushed to the hospital. 
And, you know, I go into protective family mode of, I'm not there, I'm panicking that I'm not there. And I start calling our doctors and uh, and AT staff who did a phenomenal job of communicating with Jeremiah, making sure he went to the hospital, got him into the hospital right away. And uh, unfortunately, uh, which happens with surgery sometimes is he got infected. <clears throat> I didn't really know what was going on. And then, uh... You know, I talked to the doctors about how I was feeling, came into the hospital, and uh, yeah, basically I just said my, my knee was infected, so they had to open me up again, go flush it out, you know, put me full of antibiotics, and then um, a week went by again, and uh, same thing, they had to, you know, usually they do this as well, so I had to do another surgery to, uh, to flush it out again. So I had surgery one week, second week I had to open it back up for, uh, to flush it out, to clean it, and then uh, the third week after the, the initial surgery, I had to do it again. Yeah, it was tough, man, it was like getting through all that. I, I had to stay in the hospital for like eight or nine days. Uh, you know, my mom flew up, my, my family and kids were, you know, helping me as much as they could. So uh, it, was, it was a tough experience, a little bit of, of a roller coaster ride emotionally, for sure. There was a couple of days where, you know, they were telling me I might have infection on my heart, growing on my heart or growing on my spine, something like that. So. It was, it was tough to get through, but um, you know, I got through it for sure. Had a lot of really good people to, to help keep me up, keep my spirits up, especially here from the team. And um, yeah, I got through it, so um, it was good, it was good. You know, we're just trying to keep them as positive as possible. For me, what I'm thinking is, this means Jeremiah is not likely back this year, you know, to lose that amount of time and have to gain weight back and, and all that. I knew it wasn't realistic at that point. We had Nick and we knew uh, that the combination of Caleb and Nick were gonna be our guys for the rest of the year. So uh, secondly, what's going through my mind is we just lost our unequivoc leader on one side of the ball. And uh, uh, he's not gonna be able to be in the facility for a while uh, just because of having to get medicine all the time, the, the safety factor of it. And uh, that's where we, we missed Jeremiah a lot uh, during the season was just his day-to-day -day presence. Um, he's like having another coach there. You saw it when he came back, just the calming influence he had. And uh, uh, can't say enough about what he is as a teammate to everyone that's played with him in this league. The Ottawa Red Black story for this season is well documented. Close, close, and closer every week, averaging less than a touchdown per defeat. But that goose egg in the win column is what they're going after today. So we get there, and I think from where they go, you know, we all just had in our mind that this was one of those games that if we didn't win, it wasn't any opportunity of us really turning the season around. It was like, okay, we're on seven. If, we, if we're on eight, we're going to give them a win. We're not going to have the win. Teams are in the East are starting to win, so it was like pivotal for us just to get one because now it's just building up on our head like we can't we can't get a win. I think every game this year I've seen that happen. The public gets convinced that Ottawa can win the game this right the up game. the kickoff. This is the game that's gonna happen. This is the right? one that's gonna happen. <laughs> Keep an eye on Jalen Ackland. He's out wide there and he has it in his hands. Ackland on the move afterwards. Royce Mechie chasing him down, still going. The ever-reliable Lewis Ward, and he has the first points, a field goal for the Red Blacks. No, yeah, I remember I was trying to look at Caleb. I couldn't even see him. I was like, yo, don't throw me the ball over here. I can't see anything. Yeah, I don't <laughs> Jalen Acklin saying don't throw him the ball is not in the same sentence. He tells me every time when you see me out there throw the ball, so. Will they take a shot at the end zone here? Pump fake, Evans. Eludes the rush, rolling to his right, deep ball into the end zone, touchdown, Jalen Acklin. How's that for a Red Blacks answer late in this first half? I, I think that's the only time I've ever said don't throw me the ball, just because I didn't want it to hit me in the face and then like everyone be like, what the fuck were you doing, Jalen? I really didn't see him until I rolled out and I saw him going in. I was like, oh, okay, we might be on the same page here. And then RD ran across and took two of the guys with him. And then I just threw it up, gave Ack a chance to catch the ball, and he made the play. A pretty 
entertaining first half with a score 13 13. Stay in field, play at Shaw, we go back to the Shaw side, Hank, we stay field. So on this side here, now they're doing it in reverse. Game to them. Physicality, takeaway, offense, put the ball in the end zone. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. One blaze, bird dog. Hold on, ready? Go! 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 To make them pay, and they do, with a touchdown to Nate Bahar. Finally, the Ottawa Red Blacks in the win column. They're one and six, and they get a big divisional win over the Toronto Argonauts. 23-13, the final here today. You know, you'd sell your soul for a win at that point. It was um, it was tough. But you know, to be able to to pull that pull that win out in that environment when we needed it the most, I think, you know, I think at that point. It brewed a lot of faith back into some of the guys that needed it. I'm giving a game ball, all right, to the guys who led us. Done an outstanding job. Sean Burke, first win. Yeah. a lot. You guys have never given up hope. You worked hard every day, came to work every day. Winning is contagious. Remember this feeling. Bring it each week. Let's be that team that everyone talks about that they couldn't do this. Bring it every day. Go and go. Let's win this week. Well, any win's a good win. And when you get the first win of the season, that for sure is going to take the weight of the world off some shoulders and you have some people feeling good about themselves, which is great to see. But I also felt like until you got that first home win, you're not really in it. So two home games coming up, Western opponents, Calgary, Edmonton, felt like you follow it up. All right, now we've got something here. Breathe, have fun, be you. Yes, sir. Let's go, boys. Come on, yes, come on. Let's Remember go. I told you, I yes, beat sir. up you, baby. Let's yes, go. Sir. Let's go. Come now. on with it. In a game like that where, you know, this guy has an MA, this guy has an MA, I have an MA. You know, everybody has a MA means missed assignment. So everybody has, like, you know, missed assignments on, like, even, like, just little details to where it costs, like, a big play or a big turnover or something like that. So. So you always want to stay together and uh, be positive uh, when stuff like that happens. Here we go, we got Earthright Taz, 750, Vampire Jet on Kodak. Ready? Kodak, Kodak, Kodak. Kodak, Kodak. Kodak, Kodak. Hey, you my side adjust to go. Why did he? Why did he say, oh, no! Go, son! Diving into the end zone. 
it was not hot, was it? Yeah, it was. Come on, keep going for me. Yeah, why he stop? He said that was hot. Can't stop. Yeah, can't stop. Can't stand. I, I, I didn't see it was hot. That's why I'm there. Okay. That's me, the NC5. That's me, bro. That's me. And that's half time here from TD Place. That's tough. With a score, 13 0 Calgary. Let's just do our thing, bro. Right now. From right now on, let's just do our thing, bro. I'm telling you. This shit gonna be it, bro. Let's just do our thing. C5, you do what you do. You I believe in you, dog. Exactly, bro. I fucking believe let's go, in you. bro. Let's do this shit. Yeah. Mind your business. Hell yeah. We got it back. Everybody do saying. Let's go. Come on, right here, right here. Come on, bro. Let's go. Let's get this fucking money. Let's go. Get money on three. One, two, three. Get money. Let's go. Here we go. We got yard left. 74 sickle. X8 on one. Ready? 74, 74. Draw check, draw check. Sickle, 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 sickle. That's you, Rodney. Yeah. Yeah. Go. 180. 180. Oh, no. We're up. Sudden change. We're up. Sudden change. We're up. We're up. Come on, bro. It's always the next play because you got a game full ahead, you know, so. You never want to too much think about those things because if you do, then you start getting that negative mindset and not really playing to your best abilities. Unfortunately, it didn't go like that for us, but you always have to have that mindset because if you have the negative mindset, it's just going to get worse. Right, but he can't escape. Shahid Salmon creates second and six. Flank comes up, looks like Calgary was offside. Deep shot down the middle of the field, hangs up. Yeah! Incomplete. Good job, man. Yeah. I'm cool, coach. Here we go, Nick. Let's go. Calgary 10, Arbuckle back to pass, throws into the end zone, and it's intercepted. Game over. Stampeders 17, Ottawa 3. When you don't allow an offensive touchdown and you lose by 14, uh, that's not that's not very good. I, I think a lot of people are going to be quite disappointed and maybe a few people upset about the way the Red Blacks offensively played tonight. We gotta, we gotta turn this into something, man. It's a pivotal point, man. The shit getting spooky now. Wake the fuck up. My dog said it, we ain't gonna be here. We got families, we got houses, we got cars. All that shit gonna be gone. You feel me? This shit go by quick. This shit ain't guaranteed. Figure it out, man. Take your time and truly sit down with yourself to figure this shit out, man. Let's go, man. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. What I'll say, right now the reality in front of us, I just got the new calendar, so this is correct. We have 47 working days, not including game days together for the rest of the year. We have 10 game days. That's less than two months of your life. We have an opportunity in front of us to do something that no one within these outside of these walls thinks we can do. Everyone's writing us off. Fuck that. We still control everything. But we gotta be about it. We gotta stop talking about it. We gotta be about it. Showtime, showtime, let's go. Just a yard gain by Litre. Second down and nine. Edmonton Elks, first possession here on a Friday night in Ottawa. Cornelius is taken down. Oh, and look who it is, the sack leader for the Red Blacks, one of the leaders in the Canadian Football League. Lorenzo Malton doesn't waste any time getting sack number eight this season. Hey, be ready. Go! 180! Why is that? Box 
Blacks on the board. It's 6-0 Ottawa. There you go. There's your Red Blacks highlight of the night. Unfortunately, he came in the second series of the uh, game uh, as they would uh, not score another touchdown uh, the entire night. Could not stop the Elks in the second half. 30-12 to is the final. Obviously, we're all fucking super frustrated. Right. First half, we did some things. Right. Offensively, defensively. Right. Uh, offense, we've got to finish for more points, right? Whether it be threes, sevens, whatever, we got to get in the end zone, right? And second half, we didn't stay on the field. And in defense, we let them stay off the field, right? Didn't get our opportunities, right? In the fourth quarter, we didn't get many opportunities, right? But all that shit, we have to find a way together, right? To put pieces together when you're fuck- frustrated as hell, when you haven't played well, to put shit past you and then go make a fucking play, all right? That's what's got to happen out of us, right? We got to find a way to do it, right? And there's no magic secret. We got to do it. People in this room, right? Working together, right? We'll find a way, all right? We'll find a way.